Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you guys are on this beautiful planet, whatever you guys are, welcome, 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 Duality 9Xers. We got some exciting news today. And uh, as you guys know, uh, we smashed, we smashed through the 100 subs, the 150 subs, I think we're getting closer to the 200 subs now. Getting closer to that 1 million subs. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I know that's a, a, a little bit of a stretch right now. That's some wishful thinking. That's some dreaming. Uh, but we're definitely going to get there. We're going to grow this community organically. I told you guys, we're, we're building. We're growing together. We're growing strong. That's the most important thing. I want to pump out quality content. And hey, guys, listen. I'm I'm new to this space, right? I'm 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 just gonna put it out there. I'm not claiming to be like an expert or anything. Um, I know my video quality could be better. I know my backdrop could be better. Um, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things I know we're gonna improve on, right? So this is just kind of like the beginning steps. And hey, maybe, maybe I do need like a better looking studio. I don't know. Maybe I need to set up like a Patreon or something. Um, Maybe I could get your guys' input on what you guys would like to see. I don't know. There's lots of things that we can do together. There's lots of things that we can uh, do to kind of make this channel better and improve on. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the future. I'm excited about the opportunities. And I look forward to growing this channel with you. So as you guys know, and I promised that I'm going to give away this Amazon Echo Dot and this Google Nest Mini to... Um, somebody one of our lucky subs um, so I'm gonna be doing that a little bit later today uh, not on this video but definitely I'm gonna be shooting that today I'm gonna be doing some kind of like a randomizer so I got to make it fair and uh, and then of course I'll be reaching out to the person persons who won these uh, lovely lovely items and then you'll have to just kind of send me your contact information how it can get these sent out to you and away we go now, putting that aside, now we gotta talk about real business, right? And as, as we're starting to grow, now we're starting to look at, okay, well, what do we gotta do? What do we gotta do to get to 1,000? What do we gotta do to get to 10,000? Now, it's not a stretch. Um, a, lot, a lot of the top guys that we listen to are anywhere from like, the mid 20s 30s 100,000 four five six hundred thousand now they've been in this space for quite some time and you can't take that away from them but my question is when we get to that point what do i got to do i as as a thank you i got to do something right i got to do something for my subs so i want to do my part and uh, i want to do something nice um i don't want to just give away another one of these and maybe we will maybe we'll give away more of these but I want to do something even more better, something more grander. So perhaps, um, perhaps maybe, I'm not saying maybe the 1,000, but I, I, I think I want to, maybe I'll do something for the 1,000. We have to do something for the 1,000 for sure. But once I get to 1,000 subs, I will think of something. I promise it's going to be good. And I just don't want to give away one thing. We'll have to give away at least a few different things. So it gives everybody an opportunity to win something, okay? Uh, but I want to I want to think bigger. So when we get to ten thousand subs, okay. So what I'm gonna do here? This is what I'm proposing. So we're gonna do when we get to ten thousand subs. I'm gonna give away. And and the reason I'm saying this is because somebody reached out to me and said, "Hey, I've been looking at your wall there behind me here, and I noticed something here closer to the bottom." So, there's like a, a PlayStation here, a PS5, and I'm saving this here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there it is. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to break the furniture here, but there's a PS5. So there, I, I, I showed you our little PS5 that's sitting back here, maybe that's one of the things that I give away. And I don't mind doing that. We hit 10,000 subs, um, we can do that. But let's let's get to 10,000 subs. 
And you guys like, subscribe, and comment. <coughs> Excuse me, on what you like most about that video. And I will give away one of these bad boys. And you know what? If, if you guys don't want one of these, that's fine. If you guys are not a gamer and you know that's not really your thing, maybe you have kids, maybe you want to give something to them. But if that's not something that you're interested in, then maybe I could do like um, kind of like a mid-grade laptop. Maybe I could do kind of like an iPad. I don't know. But um, it is going to be something nice for sure, right? So that's 10,000 subs. And before we get to 10,000 subs, we got to get to 1,000 subs. So that's the next goal. But we're going to be cranking out some stickers and stuff. I promised this for a while now. So stickers and we'll do like t-shirts and those kind of things. Um, people really like our, people are really digging our logo. Uh, they really like the duality logo. I've been getting a lot of comments and people reaching out to me and saying, hey, that's a really cool design. I'd love to wear that. I'd like to rock that shirt to like school or to work or you know, to the gym. Do you have anything like that for sale or whatever? And yes. Yes, we will. So um, the fact that you guys like it, the fact that you guys dig it, we got some really cool designs and logos. I wanna do something like that, so stay tuned for that. We'll get into that. But before we get into our videos here, guys, uh, I just wanna give a quick shout out uh, to some new subs uh, and definitely people that are gonna be entered in for the contest uh, for these guys right here. And so I want to give a shout out to uh, uh, SIP, I think. It's CIP7068. SIP7068. M. Fraser2697. Birdie Bum. Admiral Mao. Holly Williams Gadden. And hey, listen, if I'm butchering these names, if I'm not pronouncing it right, I apologize. That's not my intent. Uh, so we had Holly Williams Gadden. Julia uh, Montalvo. Julia Montalvo9717. Janet Christensen, 7812. Uh, Mario Villarreal, 8647. Alan Peck, Zonshu, Zonshu, 6870. Nancy, 6713. Portia Waters, 3484. Uh, and then we have um, Curiosity Pete, 6573. So, Congratulations, guys. Thank you again for the support. I love the comments. I'm, I'm trying my best to try to get through as many of them as I can and uh, continue to support, continue to like and subscribe our videos and share. And um, in the meantime, just keep doing what you guys are doing. Let's help build this channel to the 10,000 subs that we're looking for. And like I said, pretty uh, hopefully sometime later today, I will do this and we'll go from there. But right now we've got other business and pressing matters. We gotta get to a video. We can't just sit here and talk all day. We'll set up a Discord, we'll get a community thing going, we'll get a, a Patreon, we'll get all that going. But right now, we gotta focus on why we're here. So, if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Hope you guys are sitting in your chairs or somewhere where you're not distracted, sit back, no more crying, we're about to go flying. And I got my beverage here, having some technical difficulties. It's a uh, Olay Margarita Lime Mocktail. It's 100% alcohol free. Uh, we got these at Costco. So if you guys can take a look at that. All right. Uh, these are absolutely wonderful, especially on a really nice hot day or even on a cool day, like, right. Right. Love that. All right, guys. Without further ado, let's get cracking. First video. Weird Movie Facts, Part 4. Actor Barkad Abdi only received $65,000 for his award-winning role in the movie Captain Phillips. After production, he returned yeah. to selling mobile phones at his brother's shop in a Minneapolis mall. No way. Dwayne Johnson's beard in the movie Hercules was made out of the testicle hair of a yak. Actress Tammy Lynn Leppert, who played a small role in the movie Scarface, disappeared soon after filming. She hasn't been seen nor heard from since 1983, when she was only 18 years wow. old. 
Paranormal Activity had a budget of only $15,000 but made nearly $200 million at the box office. During the first screening, people started walking out and studio executives thought that the movie was bombing. They later learned that the viewers were leaving because they were too scared to continue watching. Oh wow guys, okay. Um, Captain Phillips was an amazing, amazing production. That actor only made $65,000 and then he had to return back to selling mobile phones from his family shop. Wow. Um, that's a travesty, you know. I mean, the people in the arts, uh, they, they, they work so hard, right? And, and you never know when your next big break is going to be. You do one movie, you don't know if you're going to do another one. All right. Twitch streamer found Will Smith's son Jaden randomly at a sidewalk in Japan and many people have been saying that he was acting weird. What? Oh, do you mind if I get a photo with you? Sure. Sorry, another Twitch streamer. You had a busy day You're today? not a Twitch streamer? Oh no, I am a Twitch streamer. Are you streaming right now? Yeah, yeah, is that alright? Or I can turn the camera away. <laughs> I know they're everywhere, alright? As you can see, he started to look concerned that he was being filmed and after this, he told him to leave and at the end, he wasn't answering any questions. Alright! Sorry, how's your I night going? I fine. <laughs> it's okay? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, where are you going tonight anyway? Nowhere. Nowhere? No plans? Yeah. Right. Not anywhere. Right. Twitch. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. You've had enough of Twitch streamers. <laughs> Alright, sorry. Just over here. On Twitch. They you gotta go, bro. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Let me know your thoughts on this. This Twitch streamer found Will Smith's son Jaden randomly at a sidewalk. Interesting, interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm getting a lot of heat from... I'm, get, I'm getting a lot of heat on people um, who have a beef with Will Smith, right? And and hey, look, this <laughs> Will Smith is has definitely been in the news as of late, as you guys can uh, well imagine. But now his son, somebody you know, spotted his son in Japan. But I mean, his son, he looks a lot different than what I remember, and he seems to be. Uh, kind of almost like in a disoriented state and who knows maybe just this random guy just pops up and says i'm live streaming hey hello and obviously that you know catches them a little bit off guard so i mean i'd be a little bit kind of like well, okay well uh what's all going on here just trying to materialize you know what's happening but uh pretty interesting stuff though but like what do you think what do you think of will smith's son i don't know um all right Here's that Madonna's alleged facelift has finally settled. I predicted back in February this year when Madonna appeared all poofy at the Grammys that she may have undergone surgery in preparation for her tour, which is now kicked off in London. Back then, she looked really overdone and poofy. I was suspicious that she may have done something and gone out in public a little too early. Now, fast forward to almost eight months later and we see Madonna and she's not poofy anymore. She's kind of back to the Madonna face. People should be aware that when they're critiquing the celebrities and they may have come out early it may just be swelling it takes a lot of time for that surgery to finally settle kind of like it did now in madonna's case yeah so madonna madonna's had like i mean i i think she's had like what like maybe 30 to 50 procedures i mean everything from like um an eye lift brow lift sorry a brow lift face lift uh, Botox injections. I mean, she's had numerous procedures on her face. And she's a very attractive lady. Uh, you know, sometimes, and, and look, these celebrities, they got to keep up. You know, they got to maintain a certain kind of a look, a certain kind of an image, so that when they're out there in the public, in front of their fans, that there is some continuity, right, uh, to how they look. And uh, so, uh, yeah, they spend an obscene amount of money on these procedures but imagine all the things that they have to go through to get those procedures done and then they've got a schedule that is absolutely insane people like in all like you know in every direction in their faces in their ears you got to do this you got to do that you got to be here you got to be there you got so you know they never have any real downtime right so after a procedure is done Madonna realized probably at that time, well, well, I have to be at this event. It's not like that I can just say no to every event. I got to be, she's got to pick and choose. And then, of course, while she's still, you know, kind of like recuperating, when most people would be, you know, at home resting their face, resting their body, 
not kind of going out in the public eye she has to con she has to continue to do her job right so it's it's a tough gig it's definitely a tough gig now i'm not condoning or encouraging anyone to go and modify and you know do any kind of body modifications change your face or whatever but they do what they do and that would explain why sometimes they may look a little bit different than what we normally see them as so anyways i'm just saying but i'd love to hear your guys thoughts on that uh let's get to the next video here point of it is that when it's in the dishwasher water won't stay up on the top it'll drip through the random fabric that comes with your new clothes sometimes are test pieces for you to wash them and see how they are affected before you wash your actual clothes. The tabs on the end of an aluminum foil box hold the aluminum foil in place while you're using it. That's a microphone for your camera. This lettering on a makeup jar indicates the expiration time and when you need to replace your makeup. Lines on the X-Acto knife allow you to snap off the dull blade and add a fresh one. The extra holes in Converse are just there for ventilation. The hole that's on the end of a ruler is there specifically for you to be able to hang up your ruler. This hole is also for hanging up your oh. pants. These colored squares on toothpaste tubes that are used in the manufacturing process to align the packaging properly. The loops on soda cans can be turned around and used for straws. Things you didn't know the purpose of. I, I did not know that. Laxity in the face. All right, I've All heard right. about this Dr. Kim on TikTok. So, all right, they're showing some laxity in the face, a little bit of the neck. Oh, yes, she's definitely been pulled. Um, look at that incision running all along the upper forehead. Her hairline's been brought down. You know, her eyebrows have been lifted. And now she looks like a whole different person. Holy smokes. I mean, that's a maybe major for some transformation. People, that's exactly what they wanted, but I would imagine for others, this is a little too drastic of a change. Wow. Like this young woman here. Um, yeah, there's some mid face. Like what's, what's wrong? Oh, gosh. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, now everything is lifted up. Yeah. Look, for some what? people, this is exactly what they want, but for others, this is too radical of a change. To my eye, this isn't really. Um, aesthetically pleasing to completely transform the face into something that it probably never was. I'm not convinced that she looked like that. All right. Wow. Wow. I mean, what are your guys thoughts on that? Like, that's just crazy guys. Like these are people who are like in their late forties to sixties and they literally took off 20, 30 years off their appearance. But is it healthy? Is it sustainable? Find these in beef tallow. Beef tallow is a healthy, I repeat, healthy saturated fat that I actually use at home. But they changed and went opposite directions because now they fry in canola, corn oil, soybean oil, and hydrogenated soybean oil, oh. some of the worst inflammatory oils ever. Yeah. But to mimic that beef tallow flavor, there's something they're doing. They're using natural beef flavoring, which is a derivative of wheat and milk. So if you're a vegan and you're eating these fries, you're actually still having animal-based ingredients because they want that tallow flavor, but they want to use cheap as can be hydrogenated soybean oil. Wow. But they're doing it with the biggest lie in the food industry, natural flavoring. And what is the deal with these fries anyway? They have a cult following, but honestly, they're not even that good. Oh. My friends, there's a dirty... <sighs> Something about McDonald's fries, right? Do you guys like McDonald's fries? They're probably the best fries on the planet. But why? Is it because of all the saltiness? So we, we have a little uh, secret. When, when if we Usually when we go to McDonald's, we just like the fries, okay? I like filet of fishes as well too. But when we go there, when we want fries, we ask them to make them extra fresh. So if you guys like McDonald's fries, and you know sometimes when the fries come, they're kind of soggy and uh, you never know, right? You never know. Sometimes they're just perfect, you know, they're made perfectly fresh. So we always say, can you make them fresh? Always, always when you're at the drive-thru next time, try this out. When you're getting your combo or when you're get, ordering your food and you're getting fries, ask them to make the fries fresh. And they know what that means, which means they will make it fresh. And they're nice, they're crispy, they're perfect. And you can, for those of you that are trying to reduce your salt content, you can even ask uh, to make them without salt, right? And uh, so they'll just fry it. They won't put the extra salt on there. 
you may have to wait a few minutes, of course, for your fries, but it's definitely worth it, guys. I don't know. I love, I love McDonald's fries, but I love this guy as well, too. The, the stuff that this guy says, he got to follow. He's absolutely uh, amazing. Oh, I show speed. Major influencer. Big time YouTube celebrity. There is no Easter Bunny, there is no Tooth Fairy, and there is no Queen of England. Glorious food! Wow! Yogurt? Now, just a sec, yogurt was never in my contract. <laughs> this is sensational! What is this? Ski Divine and Ski Delight. <laughs> oh, so thick! is the way yogurt should be. Let me at it! Ski, the way you're... God. Yo, what is bro doing? <laughs> <laughs> bro, they all fell. I was Scientifically proven that your brain won't let you stub your own toe. Oh? See? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. That the lights. Oh. Ah! oh, what? Water. Oh my god. Sprayer. Yes. Bro, you know what happened last Damn, time? Just drive so careful. So much Please. water. <laughs> Dude, wake up. Come on, really? Oh, I'm a squirrel. Squirrel. Yo, where'd he go? God, I want to <laughs> take him home. We can oh put him in the truck. Oh my god, is that a pig? We can put him in the truck. He's so Look cute. Look at him. Do you have another cookie bear? Oh, I wanted chocolate. Oh, no worries. Oh! oh. That looked painful, bro. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Is that a giraffe? Okay, are you good? Bro, it's oh. hungry. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, oh. yo! Oh, he just took the whole bag. Oh, my God. Did the giraffe just lick him? <laughs> Couple goals. Socks hold hands. Socks holding hands? <laughs> you have to live. Oh, Come on, big boogie. So Show them when you got big boogie. Oh, oh, no. No. oh no. Bro just wanted his ball. The dog. <laughs> oh. Bro, she just folded. Yo, what's up with all this noise coming out the trash can, bro? Ratatouille? Mickey? Hey, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Spider-Man? That, that's not Spider-Man. <laughs> no, the kid. Pause. Okay, no way this is true, right? Like they said, you stand here. Oh, this is a TikTok filter. Stare at it for 10 seconds, you're going to fall. Like, Uh-oh. No way this wow, is that's true. Trippy. He's going to fall. He's going to fall. It kind of looked like <laughs> that's <laughs> Yikes. Damn! Is your mom a baker? Cause you're a cutie pie. Hey, yo, wait. <laughs> okay, that's some uh, weirdness for sure. Um, I've never tried that yogurt before. Um, have you guys? I I haven't seen that in our, you know, in the shelves in our uh, grocery stores. But yeah, I just get a little weirded out sometimes when I see like <laughs> when I see like animated faces on like spoons or popcorn even and then knowing that that's gonna go into your mouth so you're gonna eat that thing so that's kind of weird why you never eat candy that you find oh, oh. this video is absolutely terrifying and you're about to see why in a second so the backstory on this one goes pretty What's deep. The backstory? this guy right here is seen sitting on a chair and a bunch of guys ran up to him saying that we're with you they then take this guy that looks pretty freaked out and they start dumping water on him to keep him awake and this is for a pretty good reason. Apparently there's been a pretty large trend going around called he fell for the trap laced candy. This is where people are finding ring pops or other- Fine. There's like a TikTok video, a TikTok challenge for everything. I'm thinking it's a TikTok challenge. To see why in a second. So the backstory on this one goes pretty deep. This guy right here is seen sitting on a chair and a bunch of guys ran up to him saying that we're with you. They then it's take like this guy TikTok that looks video. pretty freaked out the and they start dumping water on him I'm to keep him awake and this challenge. is for a pretty good reason. Apparently there's been a pretty large trend going around called he fell for the trap laced candy. 
This is where people are finding ring pops or other candy on the side of the road laced with substances that you do not want to put into your body. Specifically, we're talking about a substance that starts with the letter F. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about if you know. Now, the way that these substances operate oh. is they inhibit the ability for your neurons to fire in your brain. You don't eat candy that you see lying on the ground. Together. If you take too much of this said substance that starts with the letter F, when you fall asleep, your body is essentially going to forget to breathe. And that is exactly why they're trying to keep this guy awake. Wow. But is there, is there like, a, is there like a, a TikTok challenge for everything? Um, that's a pretty bad one. I mean, you don't just leave things, candy lying around. First of all, you shouldn't be leaving candy lying around, but you shouldn't be picking up candy off the ground and eating it. So there's, yeah, not cool. All right. Eric, they stole 21 cars. Can you believe that? What? 21 cars? What? They could have gave me a car. Cars. <laughs> 21 car, what are they gonna do? How they gonna drive 21 At cars? once. Right, steal that's 21 crazy. Cars. They ought to be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> I've been telling these folks, man, you need to get your life together. 21 cars, where you gonna park all them cars at? <laughs> uh, you can't do it. No. I don't know what's going on with these folks. These folks need to get themselves together out here. It's too hot to be driving 21 cars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's too much gas money. <laughs> How you gonna use all them cars? I like this that's guy. crazy. Oh. I hope they find them 21 cars though. Oh man, that guy's a good guy. Puts a smile on my face. All right. We're still eating microwave popcorn. You need to know about this. This doctor explains why you want to avoid microwave eating this. This is one of the most worst foods you can put in your body. Just watch this. The problem with microwave popping corn is the lining of the bag. Okay, so first of all, they're lining the bag with like. P-F-O-A. This is actually a forever chemical, which means yeah. that it can remain in the environment and living organisms for a very, it very long away. time. That's why it's called but forever it's chemicals. It's linked to cancer, it's linked to infertility issues oh, in lab animals once it's heated up. So as you can see, there have been studies with animals showing the potential harmful effects to your health if you're consuming this. But there is one more huge reason why you want to avoid eating microwave popcorn and many people don't think about this. When you see on the side of the bag where it says artificial flavor or butter flavoring or butter flavored, right? They're not using real butter here. What they're actually using is something called TBHQ and diacetyl butter flavor. Diacetyl butter, butter flavor, butter flavor, diacetyl butter flavor. That's so interesting. You hear, you hear about, uh, you hear about Bobby Parish. If you, if, again, I keep saying you gotta follow Bobby Parish, uh, Flav City. Uh, download the app. So when you go grocery shopping, at the Bobby approved app. Just go into the app store, look up Bobby approved. Uh, and he talks about forever chemicals. He talks about natural flavors to. To, to talk about things that have natural flavors, it's best to avoid them. Now, there are some things that might have a little bit, but it's better to avoid them. Um, let's just double check here, actually, while we're here. This drink has natural flavors, folks. Oh. <laughs> this is not Bobby approved. Okay, so let's see, what, what, what do we got here? All right, so here we have Miley at the Grammys from yesterday. And this is Miley when she was just a kid in 2008. And you can see a, a pretty different look. Uh, from yesterday, it looks to me like she's had a lot of Botox in the forehead, crow's feet, glabella, everything is fairly frozen. Her cheeks are sunken in, and that's possibly because of buckle fat removal that's been popular lately in Hollywood. Also, you can see quite a bit of upper tooth show, and that upper lip has quite a bit of an arch shape. So I wonder if maybe there was a lip lift done? And her nose, to me, nowadays looks much more narrow compared to how it looked when she was back in 2008. And you can see that upper eyelid hollowing, and that is most likely due to a blepharoplasty with or without a brow lift procedure. So I think there's been a number of things that have changed in Miley's face oh. over the years. Hampshire, England, 1955. On the morning of February 23rd at 8.30 a.m., bricklayer Frederick Briggs is riding his bike when he encounters a startling sight. An enormous object in the sky above his employer's estate. He said this thing was huge. It was hovering 
a short distance above the ground. Some sort of column descended and a figure emerged, a humanoid figure wearing some sort of dark uniform and, and perhaps wearing a hat or a helmet. And at one point, he talks about a force knocking him off his bicycle and wow. holding him down. And he talks about the UFO as having windows around the side of it and seeing a strange light. Wow. It's a quite extraordinary account. That's pretty interesting stuff. I mean, I, I, I hear about these like big cigar shaped style kind of like unidentified flying phenomenon. I think that's what they call it now or unidentified aerial phenomenon, UAPs. But this is uh, definitely like a UFO. Uh, I've seen, you know, I've heard and I've seen on videos a lot of people eyewitnessing the same thing, you know. So there's something that's out there, and I don't think it's just a big blimp because I mean that would be noticeable uh, for something to just kind of materialize itself, like you know, out of thin air and then just you know travel at speeds that are unknown to us and then just disappear in thin air and or dive right into the ocean and then come right out again like i mean there's some i mean unless there's some technology that we're not privy to that we're not aware of some fascinating stuff i'm i keep promising i'm going to be covering aliens because i've been asking uh, i've been asked sorry to cover aliens and uh, i will i will uh, I, i'm trying to find some really good quality content so if you guys happen to know of anything that you think i should maybe cover please put it in the comments Hang on based on this man named Vlad the Impaler. Man oh, named the Impaler. Dracula. We're based on this man named Vlad the Impaler who used to eat lunch while he had his enemies like writhing on spikes in front of him. He had been captured. He had been imprisoned when he was younger and probably had been raped and tortured. That's one of the reasons why he was such a ruthless person. Like, the guy's a monster. Oh my god. When Vlad was uh, called to a diplomatic meeting in 1442 with Sultan Murad II, he brought his young sons Vlad III and Radu along, but the meeting was actually a trap. All three were arrested and held hostage. The elder Vlad was released under the condition that he leave his sons behind. Years of captivity. Under the Ottomans, Vlad and his younger brothers were tortured. In science, philosophy, and the arts, Vlad also became a skilled horseman and warrior, according to some accounts. However, he may have been imprisoned and tortured for part of that time, during which he would have witnessed the impalement of his, the Ottomans' enemies. Dracula were based on the and other astronomical do you know about this two million years old mysterious Hindu text which describes gravity and other astronomical concepts researchers believe that the ancient Indian text Surya Siddhanta was written in the fourth or the fifth century CE but shockingly the second verse of the first chapter of this book attributes all the words to a messenger of the Sun God who came to planet Earth to teach an asura named Mayasura millions of years ago. The text is filled with rich astronomical knowledge, and you will be astonished to know that it calculates the time taken by Earth to complete an orbit around the Sun to be exactly 365 days, 6 hours, 12 minutes, and 36.56 seconds. This is such a mind-bending calculation for any ancient text written by people even thousand of years ago. But why did the author credit the knowledge presented in the book to an otherworldly being? So, is it not possible that this book is really millions of years old? Do you know about this? Let's find out why pasta in Italy is easier to digest. In Italy, by the law, the dry pasta is necessary to made only by durum with semolina, not durum flour. Wheat. The quantity of the gluten is less than in the flour. It's uh, made by cold water then the mixing process very slowly and then the creation of the gluten is uh, not stressed then the other point about the gluten is during the drying process if this process is very slowly like here 50 hours the level of the stress is very 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 low and then the digestion is very 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 easy we make only one tons a day. It's necessary to consider that a middle industrial factory, no big middle, in three hours makes the quantity that this factory makes in one here. Okay? Let's find out why pasta in Italy is easier. Even though there's about a million. 
What should you do when a dog does this? Yeah, I've seen oh, this. Oh, oh. <laughs> Even though there's about a million people in the comments on this video saying that this is a skinwalker and you should be afraid, this is actually quite normal for a dog. This video that I got tagged in shows this lady coming home to greet her Dalmatian. The Dalmatian then stands up and starts snapping its mouth rapidly. And while this behavior might seem pretty concerning to someone that doesn't own a dog, this is very normal. This dog behavior is known as air snapping, and typically when a dog knows you and it's very comfortable with you, it's a sign that they want to play or that they're very excited. And with that being said, if you're with an unfamiliar dog and it's doing air snaps towards you, then this might not be a good sign. According to many dog aggression ladders, air snapping is the second highest sign of aggression besides biting. So whether or not this is an objectively good or bad thing depends on how well you know the dog. If your dog does this normally, then you're fine. If it's an unfamiliar dog, distance yourself. I don't think it's a skinwalker, guys. Come on. It's a dog. They do these things. Alright, what do they mean? Shopping bags to make a chair. Oh, used shopping bags. Like the, definitely like a third world country. So they're heating up all this plastic. I mean, inhaling the fumes, I don't think is. This is a, it's a toxic environment. You know, these people should have masks on. And, I don't think it's safe to be consuming. Inhaling all that stuff, but okay, let's do a video here. Uh, this is all recycled plastic. It just looks like dirt. Wow. Wow. Thirteenth century. These are the most forbidden and dangerous books ever known. 1. Shams al-Ma'arif, the Book of the Son of Gnosis, a 13th century key Islamic occult text by Ahmad al-Buni, covering astrology, numerology, and magic. 2. The Lesser Key of Solomon, a 17th century grimoire focused on demonology, most famous for its section known as the Ars Getya, detailing the summoning of 72 demons. 3. The Book of Abramelin, a Jewish mystical text that outlines a complex ritual for gaining the knowledge and conversation of one's guardian angel and the ability to bind demons. 4. The Grand Grimoire, known for its dark contents, including instructions on making pacts with demons and the devil. 5. The Malus Maleficarum, a treatise on witchcraft, you see in the witch hunts of the early modern period. It provided guidelines on identifying, interrogating, and prosecuting witches. Hmm. Oh, Mind Junkie. Watch my last video. I did a, I did a thing on Mind Junkie featuring some of his videos. He's amazing. Ben decides to film the outside of an abandoned haunted mansion and captures someone or something lurking in one of the windows. Pale figure can be seen moving quickly inside the abandoned house. But the question is, who is it? The pale white figure moves quickly past the window before disappearing out of view. And what makes this capture even more creepy is that when Canuck Massive Explorers went inside this house, they didn't find anyone else wow. in there. So what do you think? Did wow. this team of explorers capture a real ghost on camera oh lurking God, in the window of this again. abandoned house? Let me know down below. The first creepy clip comes from... Huh. The following creepy clip was recorded by viewers of live news in Japan. The video seems perfectly normal, except for one terrifying moment. Oh. What the hell is that? Captured on live TV, a creepy hand suddenly appears behind the reporter's yeah. shoulder. This creepy video quickly went viral across Japanese social media, that with so many bizarre. suggesting that this news reporter is now marked for possession. However, wow. others argue that it's just a prank by the news crew. But what is do it? you think? Demon hand? Or the news crew playing a joke on this reporter? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Real or fake, guys? decision is for you to make. 
These are the top five meanest animals in my bedroom wow. that you should okay. probably never try to keep as a pet. First up, we have but cobras. Now, although cobras may seem absolutely adorable and you just want to boop their snoot, they are extremely toxic and cannot be underestimated. The king cobra especially I would not recommend unless you're looking for a huge insurance payout. Steve, on the other hand, can be fully trusted in every way. Rattlesnakes come in at number four. They can be rather unpredictable because they give absolutely no warning when they're about to strike at you. Pretty crazy. Lanceheads easily come in at number three. They are probably the most unpredictable viper on the planet and are not to be underestimated. At number two, of course, is the boomslang. Quicker than boomslang. lightning and faster than my metabolism, these guys will make you bleed from every orifice in your body oh and God. cannot be underestimated in any way at all. And at number one, we have my girlfriend. One of your most popular video series on your channel is about an inbred family, right? <laughs> yeah, it's good. Where, where did they live? So, went to a truck stop and there was a cop there. He eventually took me to see the, the Whitaker family, in a town called Odd, West Virginia. We were on a road and it turns into this little country road, then it turns into a dirt road. And we come to this trailer and then a little shack on the other side of the road. And there's these people walking around and their eyes are going in different directions and they are barking at us. And the one guy, you'd look at him in the eye or say anything and he would just scream and go running away and his pants would fall around his ankles and he'd go running off and he'd go kick a garbage can and this would happen over and over it was in, it was out of control craziest thing i've ever seen so this family in west virginia they're like kind of protected by the neighbors they don't they don't like people coming to ridicule these people so i was the city slicker with cameras and, and you know it's a pretty not a huge production but it's like it's clearly i'm not from around here and it's clear that i'm doing something different so these people are so hard to you can't even it's hard to communicate with them and i don't know if it was ever going to work out anyway so 24 hours surviving only with this oh. knife <laughs> We're surviving out here on this beautiful tropical island. This is going to be the only thing that's really going to help us for the next few days. We've sharpened the end of this spear. We're going to start exploring this ocean right here. I think we found our first bit of food, guys. <laughs> oh. Can't believe I'm about to eat this. Are you kidding me right now? Where is he? There he is. Yeah, we'll put him straight over the fire. He'll have some meat in his body right there that we'll be able to snack on. A few more snails up here. It's a good size one. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me, man? I'm about to eat that. I'm gonna get our seafood straight on. We got our sea cucumber right there. I think our food's just about ready. Alrighty, it's dinner time, baby. We got our snail right there. That's actually pretty good. You can eat the legs. That's bloody so good, are you kidding me? If this doesn't make me sick, then nothing will. Nah, it's a no from me on the sea cucumber. I've seen, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna feature this one, one other guy in Japan, I think, and uh, he eats all kinds of things that you and I probably are not really exposed to as often um, a lot of seafood and uh, he's tried sea cucumbers and uh, apparently it's from, from from what this guy is saying and from what other people's uh, what other people are saying it's not the most uh, yeah they, they don't taste great at all um, definitely not not good tasting and um, I've never tried it so I'm gonna tell you guys don't try it and if you have tried it and if it is good, then tell us. I, I'm curious, but that didn't sound and that didn't look appetizing at all. This is casa banana. Bean? You want to see what's inside? Oh, it's a banana. Here we go. That's a banana. Let's cut through it. Ready? Look at that. Oh, wow. It's like a melon. How freaking weird does that look, right? Yeah. Okay, let's try it. What do you think it tastes like? So you take a spoon and you just scoop out a little bit of the flesh. You see it has seeds inside, okay? And it's very, very juicy. Mmm. Wow, that's fantastic. It's like a cantaloupe melon, right? A rock uh -huh. melon, very, very sweet, no sour whatsoever. Uh -huh. And just really delicious. It has like this wow. beautiful bubblegummy flavor to it. It's really nice. A bubblegum flavor. Wow. You guys have seen, um, I, have you guys seen my other videos? Uh, I have had some interesting videos about um, people, about a lady who cooks like a cow head and she eats it. And then some people, they go off on this excursion, this night hunting for like centipedes. And I'm not talking about the little wee centipedes that you probably see in summer day, you know, kind of, uh, going across the cement floor there. I'm talking about centipedes that are like this. 
like the monster kinds. And they fry them up, eat them. I'll put it in my video. You you guys got to see it. I'll uh, put it as a, a link here. Uh, you guys got to check it out. All right, guys, that's all the time that we have today. I want to thank you guys for joining us. Um, sorry, the intro was a little bit longer. We had to get through the shout outs and talking about the, the contest and the promotion. So hopefully today at some time I can do that. And then the lucky uh, subs, will, uh, I'll, I'll announce it and um, I'll definitely let you guys know. And uh, aside from that, guys, look, let's let's help grow this channel. Let's get to 10,000 subs. All right. Like I said, I'm willing to put some things on the line here. And um, yeah, let's make it happen. Let's let's grow this baby. So listen, I, I thank you guys again. I hope you guys have a, a great rest of the day. And you know what? And it, until our next one. And in the meantime, OK, let's let's do that. Let's do the last part a little better again okay and three hey guys all right that's all the videos that we have today um, if you guys like that last video uh, or if you like any I know there's some random videos in here there was a little bit of scary there's some food stuff there's some weird memes and there's a little bit of everything you know these are like the random shocking videos right but when it comes to um, some really weird foods that are out there I have a video that I featured just not too long ago about a lady who cooks up a cow head. A cow head. She cooked it. She actually washed it. She bathed it. She brushed its teeth. And then she started to cook it and she ate it. Yeah. And on that same video, there was another group of people who did this night hunting for centipedes. And I'm not talking about like the little centipedes that you see you know, on a cement floor on the sidewalk. I'm talking about these big monster mutant centipedes and they hunt them to eat them. Now, it's, it may sound gross to you and I, but maybe that's that's kind of like a delicacy from, from wherever they are. So really interesting. I'm gonna link the card uh, at the spot. So I, I hope you guys get a chance to watch it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And listen, uh, I know the intros took a little bit longer today because we we're talking about our contest promotions and we're talking about the shout outs. But I want to thank you guys for staying till the end. And look, let's help grow this uh, community. We're talking about some exciting stuff that we want to do. Some nice giveaways, right? Uh, when we hit our 10,000 subs. And uh, you guys know the rules for that. And if you guys don't know, you can, guys can go back into the intro and watch it all over again. But without further ado, guys, we do have to end this, unfortunately. Um, but uh, we will catch you guys on the next one. So in the meantime and in between time and until our next adventure, I hope you guys have a great, great rest of the day. And I look forward to seeing you guys again. Have a good one.